What's up guys? Um, I have another video for you today. It is along the same theme lines of my last video. It is the, um, it's another Best Tech knife, knife sent in um, from Stasa23. So I'd like to again thank him for um, his generosity and getting these knives out to, to, um, to some of us smaller channels. So that's really cool of him. And um, I also like to give a shout out to Jack Farmboy. He has a giveaway going on right now, so get over to his channel if you're not already subscribed. Um, he gave me a, a a nice shout out there, and I really appreciate it. So just like to to um, say, head on over to his channel, and he's got a really cool giveaway going on, and um, some really cool knives too that that I wouldn't mind checking out for sure. Um, this is the Best Tech Knives professionally manufactured uh, Beluga. I think that's how you say that. I'm not exactly sure. But this one, again, like last time, is in 12C27. But um, Stasa has informed me that all of these are now in D2, so which is going to bring the value up on these knives, value rating up on these knives. So, what do we have here? Oh, this one is actually a little nicer than the than the spike. It, I can tell right off the bat. It has, this is 90% sure this is G10. Let me, uh, yeah, that looks like G10. So that's good. That's good right off the bat. Um, it is G10, and the other one was kind of like that Zytel material. This um, is a wow, great action knife. Uh, I can't uh, go into these already, but it's this is actually I haven't spent a lot of time with these knives as I have to get them back and everything. But um, so. Um, the time I do spend, it's kind of going to be um, discovering it a little bit with you guys. So let's do a little um, over walk around of it. So it is the G10 uh, handles versus the uh, versus the spike. It does have a liner lock, stainless steel, with milled holes on both sides. Um, lanyard hole ball bearing pivot and this and this model like I said is the 27C but the, the new ones are D2 um, came perfectly centered that's good check out the blade length real quick it is about three and an eighth yep so that's a good size this is a very good size EDC um, pretty thin stock. Um, can compare it against the Delica, so maybe a tiny bit thicker than a Delica. And while we have that, uh, might as well do some size comparison. So the Delica is overall about an inch shorter. This is more comparable to. What do I have? Let's see it against a Manix. Manix two is gonna Manix two is gonna be tall or longer by about a half inch. So that's your size comparison. All right, now let's talk about deployment. Is via flipper tab only has jimping here, and as you can see, the pivot's there, and the the flipper tab is high. So that's gonna help you with this. Get a good um, light switch motion going on there which leads us into the action action is great and what I noticed right off the bat about this knife the detent is stronger so if you don't get uh, quite as much shake closing but you do get a snappier action versus the uh, the spike so I really really liking the action of this knife um, before we move into value um, I want to um, 
get the price for you so I can have it accurate, um, give you an accurate price so you have an idea of what kind of value you're getting. Last time I, I was um, a little bit guessing with the spike, so I want to I want to make sure I get the right information to you guys. So hold on one second while I get the price. Okay, so the these knives on Blade HQ, both of them, I was right yesterday when I very first said $50. It is $50. And the ones I just checked on um, Blade HQ are still showing Sandvik steel, so um, the 12... 12C27. So I don't know if the newer models are going to have the D2 or not, but um, for the value, still pretty decent for for what you're getting. Um, G10 with uh, a pretty good steel for $52. That's that's pretty good. Um, D2 would be better. Let's just put it that way. And from what Stasa was saying, if they're coming out with with D2, that's going to be a big win for them. So, um, because right now I'm really digging the action of this knife. Let's talk about Ergos. Um, it actually does very good with Ergos. Um, I like right off, right off the bat. I mean, so far from what we've talked about, I, um, so far I like this better than the spike. It even has a choil to, to come up on. So it can fit four fingers behind the choil comfortably with some jimping here and here so that's your four finger grip and then you can come up which is feels um, more even more comfortable and this is a good size choil here that's good so ergos is definitely a win so far my favorite things about this knife is the action in ergos um, pocket clip let's go into pocket clip it does let's see how it does here does pretty decent um it's not too hard to get in and out of the pocket and it only leaves a little bit left over so it's not um bad i've seen much worse than this so that's not bad at all and finally category we'll talk about the weight so let's get it up here all right 3.85 so under four ounces it's pretty good um i'd like to see it i'd like to see it a little lighter um so the the, the things that if best tech were watching this video i would tell them you got a good uh start here um maybe to lighten it up you want to delete the the stainless steel liner on this side do kind of like what the Skyline does, the Kershaw Skyline. It only has the liner on the opposite side, so you can delete that whole liner and just thicken and make the G10 thicker. Because we know that G10 is very strong material. It doesn't, you, it doesn't need a steel line, a liner to be thicker. Um, I'd like to see the deep carry clip on here. This is fine, it, but deep carry clip is always better. Um, D2 steel, definitely make it D2 steel next time. And of course the signage, which is not a big deal, but if you just remove it, it you have a clean blade. And you still have your logo on this side. So, um, clean the, this is a fingerprint magnet here. But a uh, really nice blade, um, very sharp. Yeah, very sharp, and it almost... It almost has like a, a polished edge on it. Yeah, that's a that's a kind of a that's a high polished edge. It's not it's not a mirror edge, but it's high polished. I do like the ergos about of this knife. The blade thickness is good for strength of the of the knife. And um, yeah, I don't have any paper down here to, to show the slicing, but it it does look like a slicer. So those would be. Some things I would suggest to them. Lighten, just see if you can lighten the knife up by um, deleting one of these um, liner, deleting one of these sides of the li of the knife. That might lighten it up. Ideally, you, you know, you want to try to get to about three ounces. That's a that's a good um, good goal for knife companies. At a, a three inch blade to be three ounces is is good. But again, the action on this knife is very good. Um, the ergos are great. The value is right up there, um, especially if it's going to be in D2. And um, 
yeah, so those are my thoughts of the knife. Thanks again, Stasa, for sending me this, and you guys have a good one.